are still your leaders over in League One after Ipswich take points off a of Pompey. What's going to happen this coming weekend? We're going to take a look at it. All of it next. That's my post post game in a prediction video today with a full match number 12 slash 13, whatever way you look at it, of course. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you know where you've been, smash your subscribe button back to it. All things League One related, Championship related, Blubber Rose related, World Cup related, Premier League related. We got it all here under one Roosie's goodness gracious me. The Green Army are absolutely fantastic. Make sure you smash your subscribe, smash the thumbs up, smash the little bell, of course. Kicking ass and taking names, they are just one point clear over Ipswich. Sheffield Wednesday, of course, also in the mixer as we head into a very, very busy week over in League One. We're going to get all of it in a second. Of course, people shout out my VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. But anyway, we're going to jump in the vortex and have a look at how we all got on last time around. Then, shall we? Of course, kicking all off with a recap of the results. So, here are the games, which, of course, did take place this past weekend. There are some games going on. I'll let you know now this coming Tuesday. We're not going to take a long look at those. They're just going to be happening. And we're going to be taking a look at the next full fixture list, which is coming at you in a moment. But, of course, let's recap the results here. Of course, Accrington Stanley, 3 uh, 1 win over Morecambe. We called it 1 0 win for me in the end. Bolton winners with a 2-0 win over Lincoln. 2-1 uh, win in my eyes. Not too shabby there. Burton, 3-2 uh, winners over Forest Green Rovers. 1-1 one, one draw for me it was. Uh, meanwhile, Derby, 2-0 win for them over Cambridge. 2-1 it was for me in my eyes. Charlton Athletic with a 1-1 one, one draw against Oxford United. Oh, well, with a 2-0 win. Shit show there. Uh, Chatham with a 2-0 win over Shrewsbury. 1-1, one, one, of course, in my eyes. Exeter 2, Bristol Rovers 2. 2-1 uh, two, win for me. Breaking news. It looks like Exeter's manager is going to the New York Stadium in, uh, in Rotherham there. So, promote Promoted. Uh, he's been instantly promoted to Rotherham. Uh, so great giant test for him to, to really flex his muscles. We have Barnsley with a 1-0 win of a, a Fleetwood 2 0 win in my eyes. Here is the result of the day. 3-2 win in Wasser Ipswich Town over Pompey. 2-1 win for me. Uh, meanwhile, Peterborough 2-1 win over MK Dons. 3-2 in my eyes. Not too shabby there. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday, of course, one of winners of a Port Vale. 2 0 win for me. And I went with a draw between Plymouth and Wickham, but it was a one near win for me. Big result, that is. Uh, ain't no slouches, of course. Let's take a look at it then. Of course, Plymouth looking good right now. 25 points at the board. Ipswich are in second spot. Wednesday, Pompey, Barnsley. And Bolton, that looks a sexy top six right now. And you've got Derby breathing down your necks as well. And then who bloody knows? Who bloody knows are the rest of them? I think Derby are going to be in there now with, with Paul Warren. I think he's going to do a fantastic job there. Great great appointment. Stepping down. That's a, that's 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 great. That is what we like to see. So we do see a lot of failures when managers step up. We took a take a look at Rob Edwards from Forest Green. He was League Two champions, but then he thought, you know what, I'm going to take on this relegated Premier League side and get them back. But he got found out and found out bad. Uh, but of course, when a manager steps backwards, um, you know, like Phil Parkinson at Wrexham, of course, going to a to a to a to a chance where he can uh, uh, breathe some success. So I'm looking forward to seeing Ward at Derby, and this is their chance to get shit right. Uh, but anyway, enough about that. This is what the table looks like. As you can see, uh, the top of the table looks very very sexy down the bottom. Though Bristol Rovers, Forest Green Rovers, uh, Burton Abbey, and Morecambe go in Dune at the moment. But it is tight, very very tight. Like I said, uh, it's actually uh, we're going to recap here. Shepherd is the big winner here of League One. Of course, he's predicted of the month for the month of September. Those were the games gone last time around. What about the games that, of course, including this week's predictions? Well, let's take a look at it. Have a look at that. Vinny Hall, absolutely fantastic. Nine points up there. Uh, Texas Holdem's up there as well. And James BC FC are great. Uh, that's, of course, the state of play there. This is the overall leaderboard. As you can see, Shane O'Donnell kicks out with 58 points on the board. Even Shepard had a day off last week, but he's still in the mixer in the top six there, alongside Vinny Hong and Jimmy Watton. Indeed, of course. Let's get involved here. Cut the League One. It is free. Get involved. Get amongst it. So let's take a look at the games that are coming at you this coming uh, uh, Saturday, October the 8th, of course. So let's jump the deep end, kicking it off with Bristol Bloody Rovers uh, up against Cambridge United. Let's get in the deep end on this one. Then shall we coming at you as well. This uh, place of the nine times, we've done two forwards piece, and we've got one draw, of course. Bristol Rovers, though, without a win in the last nine games, of course, 17% fall for them up against Cambridge side, who've won three and lost three over the last six. That's 50% fall for them uh, moving forward as well. That's the round that over at uh, Bristol Rovers was a 4 1 win. That was in the EFL Cup. That was back in August 2017. That's the place in the league. That was back in League Two in March 2016. 3-0 win for Bristol Rovers heading into this. Bristol Rovers actually unbeaten against Cambridge over the last four. Big up three wins and just a draw. Uh, they do go into this on the back of a 2-2 draw against Exeter. Uh, Cambridge with a 2-0 loss against Derby County. The odds right here right now. We've got Bristol Rovers 13-8 for the race. 25 is draw and 31-20 is your away win here. Back in, of course, one more draw here. Right in the middle. Point split. What do you think about that? Next, of course, we have Derby County up against Port Vale. That's right. Now, these two sides have played to the goal of my eyes. Five times in 2019 and 4 uh, We've got two wins for Derby County, one for Port Vale. And we've got two 
draws. Derby County, though, winning four of the last six. Of course, 67% form for them. Up against Port Vale side, one, two, lost to and drawn to 50% form for them heading into this match. That's the round, though, of course, over at Pry Park. It was a nil-nil draw back it all the way back in August 1995. Goodness gracious me. Uh, meanwhile, Port Vale with the one that lost against Sheffield Wednesday. Back-to-back -back games without now without a goal. Uh, Sheffield, uh, uh, sorry, Derby County with a big 2 0 win over Cambridge heading into this match. Of course, the odds right here right now. We've got 11 8 on. Is your Derby County 11 4? Is your draw? And 7 2 is your draw? Is your away win here? Back in, of course, Derby. 2 0 win for them. Home win. Three points to the back. Up the ladder they go. Barnsley uh, taking on Exeter City. Of course, it looks like it's going to be a managerless Exeter City very soon. Plays for the zero times. Barnsley, though, uh, unbeaten in the last six games. 92% fall for them. Coming at you. I guess the Exeter City side just one win in four for them. 42% fall for them out of the last six. Exeter with a 2 2 draw against Bristol Rovers. Barnsley with a 1 0 win over Fleetwood Town. Of course, heading into this match. The odds right here, right now. We've got Barnsley 11 10 for the Richie. 12 to 5 is your draw. 12 to 5 is also your away win here. Back in Barnsley here. 1 0 win up against a manager's exit the city. Meanwhile, Morecambe, uh, they're going to be taking on uh, Ipswich Bloody Town. Coming at you over the Globe Arena. Now, these two sides have played each other three times in 2003. One for uh, Ipswich, another for Morecambe. And we've got two draws. Morecambe, though, two wins in the last six. 42% form for them up against the Ipswich Town side. Just one defeat in the past six games. 75% form for them uh, moving forward as well. Last time around, though, over in Morecambe, it was a 1 1 draw back in February 2022. Morecambe picking up a 3 1 loss against Accrington Stanley. Ipswich with a 3 2 win over Portsmouth, of course, over at Portman Road. The odds right here, right now, we've got Morecambe coming at you. Now, 5 to 1 for the Richie, 50 to 8 on is your, of course, your Ipswich. And 16 to 1 is, or 16 to 5 is your draw here. Uh, back in Morecambe to get a point on this one. Bit of a surprise, perhaps. 1 1 point split right down the middle. Meanwhile, Forest Green Rovers up against Bolton Wanderers coming at you this coming weekend. The Vegans up against Bolton, uh, of course, plays for the two times in 2020. One win apiece. 42% form for Forest Green Rovers right now, just 1 win and 5 up against the Bolton side. Just one defeat in the past six games. 83% form for them uh, moving forward as well. Last time around, they're over in Forest Green. It was a 1 win for Bolton back in March 2021. Bolton picking up a 2 0 win over Lincoln. I mean, with Forest Green Rovers with a 3 2 loss against Burton, of course. Coming at you though, last time around. Oh, sorry, the bookies odds. 11 4 is your victory for the hosts here. 13 5 is your draw. 11 10 on is your Bolton here. I'm back in the Wanderers here. 2 1 for them. 3 points in the bag and up the ladder they go. That can actually see them go as high as third in the table. Uh, brother. Meanwhile, Lincoln City against Charlton Athletic coming at you at Sinsel Bank. Now, these two sides have played each other four times to 23. Three wins to the host, one for the visitors. And we've got zero draws. Three wins in the last six for Lincoln City. 50% fall for them. I'm against the Charlton side with that winning five now. 42% fall for them uh, moving forward as well. Last time around, that over in Lincoln. It was a 2 one for Lincoln. In fact, they went back to back at wins over Charlton last time around. Charlton over the draw against Oxford heading into this, uh, but uh, Lincoln with a 2 0 loss against Bolton. Bloody wonders. The odds right here right now 8 to 5 is your host, 8 to 5 is your visitors, and 12 to 5 is your draw. I'm back at the host. Here, two on win for Lincoln City, three points in the back, and again up the ladder they go. Oxford United up against Wickham, bloody wonders. Uh, you could even call this a bit of a derby, perhaps. Of course, come at you over the Kazam. Now, uh, these two sides have played in the corner of my eyes 22 times in 2004, eight wins for Oxford, seven wins for Wickham, and we've got seven draws. Of course, Oxford over that win in three, 58% form for them. I'm against the Wickham side, four defeats on the spin, 25% form for them. Uh, moving forward into this game, coming at you though, last round though, over at the Kazam, it was a nil nil draw back in September 2021. Back to back clean sheets for Wickham heading into this. Meanwhile, they also coming to this on the back of a 1-0 loss against Plymouth. Uh, meanwhile, Oxford drawing with Charlton uh, heading into this match as well. Coming at you though, last summer on the bookies odds, we have 6-5 is your host, 11-5 is your way win and 12-5 is the draw. Back in the house here, 2-0 win for the Kazan boys. That's Oxford, three points in the bag and up the ladder. There you go. Peterborough uh, have gotten back into top gear now up and out them up against Burt now being this coming weekend. Coming at you from Peterborough. Played for the 12 times, 2 6 uh, 2 5 sorry, 5 wins for Peterborough, 4 for Burton, 3 draws of course. Burton though winning 3 and losing 3 of the last 6. Bit of an upturn in results here, fifty percent form for them. Up against, of course, uh, Peterborough over 1 3 of the, and the spin for them, 50% form over the last six as well. Last time around, that over at Peterborough was a 2 2 draw back in October 2020. Burton with a 3-2 win over Forest Green. Uh, Peterborough with a 3-2 win over MK Dons heading into this. Uh, meanwhile, the book is odds right here. We've got Peterborough 20 to 11 on for the Richie. 65 is your draw and 90 to 4 is your away win. 3-1 for the host here. Peter, and that could see them go as high as fourth in the table. Plymouth Argyle up against Accrington. Stanley Course coming at you from uh, Plymouth. Uh, Pleasure the 18 times. 11, seven wins for Plymouth. Five wins for Accrington. Six draws, of course. Plymouth, though, unbeaten in the last six games. Picking up five wins at the last six. 92% form for them. Up against the Accrington Stanley side. Who won three at the last four. 50% form for them. Uh, moving forward as well. Last time around, though, over in Plymouth, it was a 4 0 win for Plymouth. In fact, Plymouth have scored four, eight goals uh, in, the last, in the last two games against Stanley, conceding just the one. Meanwhile, Stanley picking up a 3 1 over Morecambe. Of course, Plymouth with 1 0 over Wickham Wanderers. The odds right here right now coming at you from Plymouth. Of course, 10 7 on is your host. 14 5 is draw. 7 2 is your away. And back in the host here. 2 1 win. Narrow win. Only Joss. Three points in the back. 
and away we go. We were Pompey against Fleetwood Town. Of course, come out here from Fratton Park. Played to the 13 times. Done three seven wins for Pompey, three for Fleetwood. We've got three draws at the moment. Of course, Pompey though, 58% form for them. Uh, two defeats past six up against the Fleetwood Town. So just one win in six of them. 33% form for them moving forward as well. Last round though, over at Pompey was a 3 3 draw. Goodness gracious me. In fact, the last, uh, what we look at, Pompey unbeaten uh, over Fleetwood over the last five, picking up three draws and a couple of wins. Uh, they did lose though to Ipswich Town last round. Fleetwood with the one no loss against Barnsley. I mean, with the odds right here right now. Pompey coming at you with the 7 4 on for the victory. 3 1 is your draw. 90 to 4 is your away win here. That is, of course, Fleetwood Bloody Town. Back in the course, a 3 0 win for Pompey. Poison the bag, up and at them. Away they bloody go as well. Sheffield Wednesday, busy week for them. Up against Cheltenham, of course, coming at you this coming weekend. Pleasure the two times in 2021. One win for Wednesday, nothing for Cheltenham. We got one draw, of course. Sheffield Wednesday, just one defeat past 558% form for them. Up against the Cheltenham side, just one defeat of the past six games. They've kicked into gear now and they're flying up the table in up to the 17th right now, but just one defeat past six. Coming out of the last round over at uh, Hillsborough, it was a 4 1 win for Sheffield Wednesday back in March 2022. Cheltenham over two to win over Shrewsbury and Sheffield Wednesday with a one win over Port Bloody Vale. The odds right here, right now, coming out of on this one. We got Sheffield Wednesday uh, favoured on this one, 5 2 on for the victory, 7 2 and 30 2. Is your away win here? Back in, of course, Wednesday, 2 1 win for them, three points in the bag, and away are they a go. And next, of course, it is high flying promotion chasing, playoff chasing again, you'd imagine. Shrewsbury Bloody Town up against MK Dons, who really had a shit start to the season. Coming at you, though, uh, from Shrewsbury. He's played each other 20 times, done six, five wins for Shrewsbury, eight wins for MK Dons, and we've got seven draws, of course. Shrewsbury, though, winning three, losing three over the last six. 50% form for them up against MK Dons, side, so just one win in five. 33% form for them over the last six as well. Last time around, though, over in Shrewsbury, it was a one win for Shrewsbury. In fact, the wayside hasn't won this game since MK Dons beat Shrewsbury in Shrewsbury back in May 2018. Meanwhile, Shrewsbury with a 2 0 loss against Cheltenham, and of course, MK Dons with a 3 2 loss against Peterborough. Uh, of course, coming at you though, 7 5 is your host on this one. 2 2 1 is your away win. 11 5 is the draw. One wonder piece here, put split right in the middle. What do you say about that? That is my take, of course. And if I'm right, this is what the table will look like. Plymouth Argyle kicking ass, two points clear of a Sheffield Wednesday, of course. Now, bear in mind that these are just the games that are coming at you. This weekend, of course, there are the four games in the mix. So Plymouth tactically could be a little bit further than that. Also, it could also mean Sheffield Wednesday could be top of the table as well, depending on what goes on in the midweek games. But they are not reflected in this little table. So just wanted to point that out. But that is it. Of course, if you want to get your own points in there, Cutty Fortress League One, it is free to enter. Get your name in lights to see how you do against me next time around. But that is it. Smash your subscribe, smash your thumbs up, and smash the little bell. We'll be back, of course, very soon for the next round of matches. But until then, guys and girls, we're done.